but I um, I like all the films, but I like to ask uh, Namin as uh, for Beyond the Bridge, um, and congratulations on the acting as well. Um, I like to um, know what is the purpose of uh, because the sound the sounds uh, is not quite. I mean, I, I don't really get what the, the actor and actress is uh, um, saying. Um, at, at the same time, um, the editing, editing. What is the purpose of the the color of the editing? Um, I mean, why you make in this? Um, why is not so bright? Why is so quite dark like this? Um, yeah, and, and again, congratulations. Okay. Um, thank you so much for the question. I actually um, we would like to apologize for um, we, we, we do have some technical problem. So the sound was not as good as um, it should be, and I think the color has dropped a bit as well, but definitely they have sound problem. So um, we apologize that you are not seeing the film at its best quality. Um, I'm sorry for that. Um, as for your question, I, uh, why, was it a question about why the editing film or, yeah. Um, actually, I tried to capture the color of Cambodia, and I think you may have seen the uh, different colors throughout different scenes. Because, for example, like, you know, the love scene between uh, Fukuda character and, uh, and Milia character, you will see the color is a bit more warm, more loved, more beautiful. But then uh, at the scene of uh, Fukuda-san, uh, that played by uh, Masaya Keto-san, lead for Tokyo, uh, that color goes a bit, um, that color goes a bit blue. It's just to emphasize this, the sadness and, um, and, and the feeling he has of that time. And also, because there are scenes in Tokyo, for example, like 1990s in Tokyo, and also 1975 apartment in Tokyo, um, we also had to um, uh, recalculate it or we think of the color for uh, in Japan as well. So it's different color to Cambodia. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, Jane. Thank you. Congratulations on a very beautiful film. Really, I'm very, very touched. I wanted to know what was the inspiration behind the story of weaving in a love story, uh, but also taking in the historical accounts of Cambodia. Where did that inspiration come from in the first place? Thank you so much for the question. I will try to answer without being so emotional because it is going back to a very early, um, early life of, of, of us, um, of my, uh, my family. Um, I, when I was young, I was probably 10, 12 years old, my mother often take me across the, uh, uh, take me and my sister crossing the bridge from one side to the other side. I think it was 1979, 1980s. She tried to come back to look for the uh, member of the family after the Civil War. And uh, we were leaving across the other side of the river. And so to cross the river, um, you had to come with the boat. And none of us could swim. Um, my mother, my sister was very young and myself couldn't swim. So we, the only way we could come to Phnom Penh is to come with the boat. And as a young girl, I remember when the boat approached the, uh, the middle of the river, I was so scared. I was always looking up that broken bridge and thinking that if the bridge was connecting, I would not have to be so scared like that, you know, because if what happened if the storm is coming or crocodile or, you know, <laughs> anything, anything could happen. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I remember and there was a few times we crossed the bridge. And so I, at one time I asked my, my mother about why, did, why, what happened to this bridge and uh, what is the name of the bridge. And she called, she, the first word she told me was Japanese bridge. So I immediately remember that for will be the Japanese bridge and then she also said to me that it was the um, Jirojongba bridge. Yeah, so um, that was the history about the bridge and connection with us. And um, I would like to show the, the history of um, of Cambodia through the um, through the through the um, the eyes of um, uh, Fukuda San, the Japanese point of view, but I don't just want to show the the, 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 the you know the war story. So I would I, I combine that story with the love story, and um, to try to tell the history of Cambodia through this love relationship, the love that um, that never died, and um, I actually. Thanks to my mother for that, she um, inspired um, the love between my, my mother and my father 
is inspiring a lot um, between Fukuda san and Lillian in the story of Beyond the Bridge. Thank you for joining me.